And here we have another new release from Ganso Fiber. Man, they are just on fire lately, aren't they? This is going to be my first look at this little guy, and it is little, the FH61. How you doing? My name is Jay, and if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel, and consider clicking on that subscribe button if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. Even though we're really not going to get into the specs today, since this is my first look, I will go ahead and throw them up on the screen right there. These are measurements that I've taken myself, and I'll also, of course, list them down in the description just in case any of you want to follow along throughout this video. Let's quickly go ahead and take care of those size comparisons, and we're going to start out with a Spyderco and the Para 3, and another Spyderco. This is the Native 5. How about something from CRKT? And this is the Large Pilar. And lastly, a Benchmade. And this is the, of course, Mini Griptilian. I want to go ahead and start with, with the blade because, well, the shape, be it, it really is probably uh, the most compelling feature on this knife. So what shape, I mean, what shape do you want to call this? Because we have quite a few different elements going on here. I mean, it's got the, the buoy shape to it, uh, the trailing point and the clip. And then, of course, it also has the uh, tanto element to the edge as well. So if you want to call it a modified buoy, a modified tanto, a modified clip point, trailing point, whatever. But you know what? I've got my own name for it. Goblin shoe. Yeah. Take a look at this. So just imagine, imagine like a little goblin or a, or a gnome or some other kind of like small woodland inhabitant and picture what kind of shoes would they be wearing? That goblin shoe. And of course now Ganso Firebird, they stuck with the, the materials that they have, have been using in this FH series. I mean, the, uh, the, the, the flat ground D2 blade with a satin finish, the G10 handle scales, and a nested liner lock, a very, well, it's a decent size uh, forward finger choil, but you do get two deployment options going on here because you can either use the, the flipper tab, which works great, by the way. I am having a very difficult time in getting this to fail. It's really, okay, I got it right there, but it's tough to do, it really is. Or you can use this, the thumb hole. Now, I can do the spidey flick. I can slow roll it. And remember, I'm left-handed, so there's no like access ramp on this side for us lefties. There is, though, for you righties here in, that, uh, in the G10. So maybe it'll be a little bit easier for you guys. But for me to just go ahead and thumb flick it, I can do it, but it's it's kind of difficult to get my to get my thumb down in there. I like what they did here with the flipper tab because it's they they kind of minimize the size of it. So like if you're cutting on a flat surface, you're able to get more of that sharpened edge in contact with whatever you're cutting. I don't know if you remember if any of you have the FH31 and do you remember the size of this flipper tab? I mean, you're only getting just almost the very tip if you cut on a flat surface. So that didn't work out as well. So I really like what they, what they did here. And just like the Spyderco Native 5, uh, Ganzo, they, they want you to choke up and they want you to use primarily this forward finger choil I mean, you don't have to, but you're only looking at like about a three finger grip. So it's really meant to be uh, choked up on. So if that's the case, then I really wish that this jimping would have been maybe just extended out just a little bit because this is pretty much like my, my natural grip position with this knife. And you know my thumb is just resting on the uh, the flat part of the blade spine. The closing action is really good here as well. You can do that 
that thumbnail closure, but you can see with just a little bit of shake and bake, you can get that blade to, uh, to drop shut thanks to the ball bearing pivot, of course, on, on the inside. I was actually kind of surprised about that because you know how a lot of like uh, smaller knives, you know, the blade is gonna be so, so light that it, it, it's just not made to drop shut. That is not the case here. The action closing is very good. Now, even though that this, this is a little bit smaller than what I normally like to carry, uh, for me, this would make a very nice secondary carry, you know, kind of like a, a backup. A lot of times, knives that do have the, the nested liners will use this in order to, to keep that, the, the thickness of the handle down. Well, this coming in at around 0.53, you know, it's got a little, uh, it's got a little bit of heft to it. It's got a little chunkiness going on, and I see exactly why they they made the thickness what it is. Because if just imagine if this was a very thin handle, it would really not give you much to hold on to. So it looks like they widened it, you know, a little bit because these these G10 scales each one individually has decent thickness to it but for it being a smaller knife it's it gives you a lot to grab onto and it is very comfortable so i'm going to bring out some of the other uh, recent ganzo firebird releases uh, just so i can really drive home the point of how small the 61 actually is so we've got the uh the largest of the three here the 31 at the top and then the the 51 which is a little bit smaller and then we go down to the 61 which is even smaller yet and then here's a different view of the same three so the 31 the 51 and the 61 and you can see the 61 is definitely has the thickest handle out of the three if you guys will just just give me a couple days so i can go ahead and uh, test this knife out use it you know cut a bunch of stuff and then i will go ahead and come back with my my full review of this fh61 now if you enjoyed this video you got any value from it would you just leave a leave a thumbs up and if you haven't already consider subscribing thanks for watching i will see you at the next video take care